What is happening, my Paris? What is happening to, to you all? Or with you all? It is a blessed Tuesday afternoon coming from my Jamaican kitchen to wherever you are. To you and your family and all of that. If you're coming from work, in the traffic, or if you're at home, you're getting ready to go to work, blessings. It's just blessings. Now today we are on another kitchen, but not kitchen talk. Remember when we did the last kitchen talk, we were contemplating. I think we had two videos and something almost similar. I didn't even realize until the other day. The rice cooker versus the slow cooker. A lot of people commented that they would like to see the rice and peas being done in the rice cooker. Now today we are going to demonstrate to you right here on the Jamaican Debbie Debs train for the very first time how we do that. So right here you have got to have your peas all cooked. You have got to have your coconut milk all made. We have our rice. We have our herbs. We are going to use today some whole cloves instead of um, pimento seeds. If you have it, I would like you to try it in yours. Just try it if you, if you, if you are interested. Right? If you are somebody that likes to explore in the kitchen like myself, you can use your whole cloves and use the different flavor it gives. But don't use a lot because the size of your pot is really strong. But it has a nice unique flavor it does that to the rice and peas so right here we have our rice and cook our rice cooker we have our teflon pan we're just going to give it a little rinse a little tiny rinse i have here eight ounces not eight you know before it was cooked some eight ounces of uncooked peas this is now it's cooked it's more than eight ounces so you want to get some of this piece into this rice cooker i call it the teflon pan so you want to throw most of the liquid because you want to have your rice and peas with a red business there you know but we're gonna put like so this looks to me like about two cups of cooked peas right this looked to me that this would be about two cups of cooked peas so now you're gonna put in some coconut milk freshly squeezed your tin one or what so we're putting in that i should have measured it that's about three and a half cups of freshly cooked freshly squeezed i don't know what is wrong with me squeezed coconut milk so we're gonna put it right in here now when you put it in here you plug in try to plug in after don't plug in first now when you plug in it automatically comes up and family might be hearing a little noise it's next door i'm sorry about that i have no control it's my neighbor doing some knocking i'm sorry so it will go automatically on warm. You want to flip right here and then it goes to cook. Now right here now, you have all your herbs, your tiny skeleton as per usual, and you're going to put it in, okay? You want to put now your old clothes, just a little bit. Let me show you. Not a lot to the size, to the amount of rice because it's strong. Normally you would have put more pimento seed than this. So you put like, this is about 10 or 11 cloves. Huh? It is so strong, it has a nice flavor. So you have that in there and it is on cook. You want to do now a little salty. Huh? Just as well you like do your regular pot, so you put some that might not do all the trick, but you will just put that. When you're finished and putting your rice, when you put in your rice, you want to give it another taste. Now I'm supposed to have a pepper, but I was not ready for cameric seeds. But it does not matter. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to cover it and leave it to get hot when we return i'll show you the speed at which mine boils okay you will determine if your does yours does the same but mine boils at a rapid speed so when we return we have our rice i'm gonna be using one kilogram of rice to the amount of peas but don't worry i'll leave in the description for you the amount the proportion of everything that we use so you get your rice and peas coming out successful when you return, this should be boiling, getting our peas all gelled in. You can't let it boil too long like the pot though, because it's automatic. As soon as it starts boiling, we'll come and our rice will be ready. We wash it and put it in there. It's not supposed to boil, but that's what it does when we return. So I want to show you that the speed at which mine boils. If the rice is supposed to boil, but I just want to show the speed at which mine boils. Why? I don't know okay now family look at the speed at which this one boils now i've put my pepper all in off camera so, and this is a spoon that you use that comes with them don't use a metal spoon because it will and this one it wasn't even strong you notice the 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 coat in there but you know don't know say nothing no good again with this inferior stuff i want to show you this now 
this is the measurement right there and that looks like wow the thing boil up on top of it family i wanted to show you the measurement in how many cups are there so this is how much like camera girl this was like uh, we can't see this one because the, okay this is like eight cups eight cups of water this is eight right here we have ten there so this right here is eight so it had eight. i don't use those little cups though you know, but it's at eight cups of water now okay and we're gonna put in one kilogram of rice right in there right now so you will determine the amount of peas that you want so i'll tell you how many cups of what how many cups of liquid i'm sorry which is the um the coconut milk that we have and i will tell you how much rice and you will use what you want if you want to use less peas you can go ahead because some people don't like, like a lot of peas in their rice and peas okay so you just put it definitely like what you do and you give it a stir now that you give it a stir you want to test right here now if you have too much water and this look like i do have a lot of liquid i would need to remove some of my liquid so you just gently go along and take out a little of your liquid so i move i remove like about a half a cup of the liquid leaving us at put in the rice so we are at like about seven and three quarter now so this would be the norm while i'm spinning you're still seeing the peas and the rice let us taste for salt perfect perfection for the last my need a little more salt you that depends on you that depends on you so what we're gonna do now we're gonna put in our rest of salt for the very last time stir and this is what it looks like we're gonna cover and remember that you have this little thing here so you cover because when it starts cook this cook it steams is gonna go up so you position it that it goes where you want it to go and we're gonna leave it we have no time on this because it's automatic when it's finished cooking it will flip to warm after it's flipped to warm you can leave it for about seven minutes let it rest and everything come together when we return you'll see the quality of the rice and peas that the rice cooker produces okay now paris it's flipped to warm and it has been there not a total of the seven minutes but like about three minutes so you remove your lid and this is what we have so you see we have a nice rice and peas color all our herbs on top and everything let's take them out so i always try to use a plastic fork because it always comes with plastic um spoon everything it comes with it's all plastic huh eh? so i just you know the, the, the fork is more easier to, to to remove the um to remove the stuff from it so i could just remove all of this and what you think what do you think what are you thinking so far you're not here to taste it but we're at what, what what we have here and this is the amount because the, the um it's good for me it's good because what you're seeing in there is like the um the oil from the coconut it was bone dry coconut that i use and this is the finished product as it sits on the warm it's still on the warm look at what we have as it sits on the warm but mine i might have to lift it i might have to lift mine to put this underneath that's what i use it for i'm not sure but so as it sits on the warm it will stay there and it will come as much as you want it it's ready and this is what it looks like and can i tell you this is going to be so good as i always say to people you are to use bone dry coconut to cook your rice and peas this is what it looks like and i'm gonna do like a little bit of tasting for you it's so nice it's so good it's soft not dry not tough oh there you have it your rice cooker rice and peas this is for all the ladies that are on the go well i think it is efficient i think it is good for the the, the 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 wife the mother on the go the on the go so you can just have your peas remember you never gotta cook your pizza at a time and if you would like me to do some prepping videos i have them in mind i'm not sure if you'd like to or to prep food and stuff ahead of time that when you come home from work it can be easier with these four type of appliances please comment remember to like share subscribe remember to leave your comments below when you do subscribe remember to click the notification bell you know why miss none of these 
thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up it's still on the warm and it can stay there as long as you want it mine i've got to let it stay a little more a little less because if the motor in there it will catch okay but for the others that i have it can stay on the warm for hours keeping warm keeping warm and nice and chilly but this i can't let it stay too long it will dry right off so remember again to like share subscribe and it doesn't matter what we do right here on the jamaican debbie Deb stream never let the evil around you never let it take control of you steer panta patins